Hello, I'm Marnie Andes, President and Founder of Project Aspire, and today we're celebrating our first annual scholarship luncheon here at the Brown Palace Hotel. Today we're going to be recognizing three women, one who is our woman who aspires to inspire honoree Joan Mazak, who happens to be the CEO and President of Make-A-Wish Colorado, and we're also presenting our two 2013 scholarship winners. Project Aspire raises money throughout the community to give back to women who are going to school and pursuing higher education degrees in Colorado. We invite you to come to our next Project Aspire event. Today. One is leverage, one is leadership, and one is legacy. Leverage. Philanthropic dollars. I can't think of a better way to create leverage. The work that any of us do as we engage in communities, it's not about a transaction. Sure, you know, I ask you if you can support Project Aspire and you write a check. That's not the end of it. It's a relationship. It is about investing in people. It's about leveraging dollars to create opportunity. And so to the extent that all of us are philanthropists, I always say to my students, I don't care whether it's a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, or a million dollars. Part of your commitment as women who are leaders is to leverage the assets that you have so that you're investing in others. Going to graduate school, that you know, they would get to their last semester and they would just think, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Either, you know, I've got kids or I'm I'm doing this with other family, or you know, I just I think I want to go on to, to get other degrees and I just don't know how I'm going to do that. And I thought, there's just not a pool of money out there. And so I feel like this is such a great way to say, it doesn't matter if, I be if we believe that there's somebody that needs to be taking that next step, if we believe that there's a woman leader that has some of the most creative ideas, that how sad that would be if we didn't help her complete that journey. So I really do thank you. Um, we look forward to this annual luncheon every year and we hope that you will join us again next year.